as women we need to be self sufficient wherever and whenever we can and must not think that handling tools and doing these things around our house is a men's job after all changing light bulbs and fixing a tap should be life skills and gender neutral just like cooking right trust me atmanirbhar banna bahut faydemand hai Namaste welcome to home hashtag life and in today's episode a part of our home keeping series i am going to share with you a few tools that every home should have how to use them without waiting for plumber or carpenter and you can save a lot of money by doing this small things all by yourselves moreover the festive season is coming and you all must be getting ready to do a few diy or decoration projects I hope this video will be useful for you. So, let's get started. In our homes, over years of usage, we find that bathroom accessories have loosened up or we need to fix furniture or door handles which have hexagonal screw heads. Allen keys these L-shaped tools with a hexagonal screw head can be very handy for that matter this type of set is ideal for DIY household and professional use here you can see our main door handle which gets loose over the time with the help of this allen keys i was able to tighten the handle without calling a carpenter Have you ever wanted to hang a big painting onto the wall with the two screws at the edges instead of one in the middle? Now, here comes the challenge. You will need to mark two points on the wall. Usually, someone holds a painting and you say, "No, no, no, left, left, left piece. Oh, no, 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 right, right, right. Oh, just a bit left, right, left, right." etc or another instance is when you need to draw straight lines before placing wallpaper or before painting a wall to get a straight line all you need is a leveler so that the painting or the wallpaper doesn't look tilted you have seen me using this leveler so many times in our diy videos a leveler works on the principle of an air bubble inside the water and comes in various sizes Place the leveler on the painting and tilt the painting along with the leveler until you see that bubble right in the middle. Once this is done, mark the spots and go ahead and drill or paste. Ah, a hammer. We all have one in our home, don't we? It is an essential tool for any home usage. and while home keeping many times the hammer comes in handy for various innovative purposes even in the kitchen hammers are used at home for diying framing nail pulling assembling furniture and what not hold the hammer closer to its bottom for maximum strength while using a hammer on a wooden surface use a cloth on the surface to prevent the surrounding area from getting spoiled Masking tape is used to mark off areas that need not be painted. It comes in various weights and is usually used while painting walls or on canvas. We can also use it when we are about to hang an art piece or mirror on the wall. Paste the tape here and mark two holes then remove the tape. Put it on the wall directly where you need to hang. So easy. I have even used these masking tapes to paste a wrapping paper as wallpaper on the wall worked like a charm. Sometimes I do use masking tape to label inside the pantry or to label anything. A must have tool in our home keeping journey. This one is the most basic of tools. 
comes with inches and centimeters markings. We need to use the measuring tape to know the exact measurement for our particular cabinet before buying organizers for our homes. To measure the distance before hanging a picture on the wall or to know the height, length and width of a furniture before setting it in a particular space. To custom make our curtains, we need to know the exact height from the curtain rod to the floor and what not. I always carry a measuring tape with me when I go to any store to buy baskets or organizers for any project. Guesswork or assumptions never work. This one is a measuring tape with inches and centimeter markings too. We can call it a tailoring tape as well. Many of you might be skilled in stitching and this one is super important. We can use the tailoring tape to measure such areas where metal measuring tapes won't work. Keep one in your tool cabinet, it will come really handy at times. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever so I can hold you in my arm. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm the monster Sunday open deep and abiding for you. When we find bathroom taps or kitchen taps are jammed, then what do we do? Do we need to call a plumber? No, all we need is a spanner or wrench. It is a metal handheld tool that comes with a wrench of 6 inches or 10 inches or in various sizes to tighten or loosen fasteners. Its long handle provides a grip. We can increase or decrease the size of the mouth of a spanner to fit round a nut. Now we can turn the spanner to loosen or tighten it. With this, you can loosen the tap head to clean the deposited dirt when needed to maintain the water flow and many more home maintenance jobs. Homekeeping means keeping our homes running smoothly. And for this, always keep a spanner in your tool cabinet. There are two different kinds of pliers. Cutting plier and a nose plier. Cutting pliers are usually used to cut steel wires, electrical wires, etc. They can also be used to tighten nuts to bolts. Nose plier is a simpler version. Instead of hammer, you can also use nose plier uh, to pull out the bent nails. You can use the nose plier to hold the nail while hammering it to save your fingers from getting hurt. Many times you have asked in the comments which drill machine I use in our home. So here it is. A good sturdy drill machine is a basic must have for you. If you need to hang a painting or fix an art piece onto the wall, a drill machine is essential. Drilling machines come as battery powered cordless or electric with cord. For heavy drilling like concrete, mostly hammer drills are used. Safety should always be a priority while drilling. You can always use safety glass and gloves and do remember to disassemble and remove the battery while storing. Drill bits are essential additions usually fixed to the head of the drilling machine. Heavier the object, deeper the hole, bigger the diameter. Now before I go further and show you the next process, I need to share the related tools here. So here we go. Once we drill a hole, we need to plug in the screws. Screws unlike nails are a better binding agent because of the threads. Usually screws are best used for binding objects onto surfaces. They have different kinds of heads star, straight, hexagonal, etc. Here you can see I have organized all different types and sizes screws in this box. It is very easy for me to find the right candidate for the job. 
This plastic or wooden pieces are usually called gattis. I don't know the technical name for it. Let me know in the comments if you know. It is used to hold the screws tightly in place. It acts as an adhesion between the wall and the screw. This one is one of the most requested videos from you guys. So don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you are enjoying and learning something new in this video. Let's move on and see what's next. All men and women are not equal. Some of us have the height to reach the upper shelves or clean the fans. Others will need a ladder or step tools. This one made of aluminium is foldable and lightweight yet sturdy. Whether you need to pull out something from the loft or change a bulb or clean the fan or even paint your walls, a ladder is a must have in every home. You don't need anyone to help fix few things around the house, just a few must have tools to get the job done. So these were some basic tools as a homekeeper all of us should have and know how to use them. Don't forget to teach your children to use them as well because they are also homekeepers. Don't forget to ask me any questions or queries in the comment section. And uh, subscribe to Home Hashtag Life and you can always find us on Instagram and Facebook for more videos, pictures and life updates. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Sunday open